Okay, we're back with another video here. Uh, right now I have two machines here. It's a Jura S8 and an Espresso. So our idea for the video today is uh, due to a very common question we get is, what is the cost difference between an Espresso and a Jura? So we have two machines here. One is the Jura S8 and then one is a capsule coffee machine. This one is the Nespresso. A very common question we get is, well, what is the cost benefit of getting a Jura over an Espresso? Or, or what is the benefit of getting an Espresso over Jura? So this video is not to knock on a capsule coffee or uh, you know the expensive Jura machines. It's just to give you an honest analysis of both machines in terms of uh, financial costs, as well as any other costs in the, in the future, as well as so the, the whole point of Nespresso espresso machine is that it's for capsule coffee. So you keep buying the capsules and the machine starts out relatively cheap. Whereas Jura, you're starting off a higher price cost, price point, but the beans you're buying are cheaper. So just to give you an idea, an average bag of whole coffee beans is about $16 for a decent bag. And that's going to be 500 grams. To give you an idea, it's about 25 to 35 cents a cup. You know, when you put the beans in here, yeah, it comes up to about 25, 35 cents a cup, you know, with the bag of coffee. Whereas capsule coffee, it really depends on the brand, just like the brand of beans, but it's probably between 55 to 65 cents. Okay. An espresso machine, it's about, uh, you know, lifeline, I'd say is about four to seven years is what official answer from Nespresso, that's what they say. In my opinion, you know, I've been in the coffee industry for quite a long time now, it's a family business. It's more three to five, not quite four to seven. So. Uh, that's one thing to consider here. You're starting off cheaper, you know, maybe between 150 and 350. This is probably a medium range espresso machine we have here, but uh, you can go as, as low as 150. But yeah, I wouldn't say four to seven. I'd say more three to five is a, is a more consistent answer, I believe, in, in the coffee community. And Jura, their official answer is 10 to 12. And in my experience, it's we see 15 to 17 year old machines come in all the time and uh, we keep servicing them and giving them back and customers are still happy. So that's one thing to keep into consideration as well is the longevity of the machine. So that's just some you know cost breakdowns for you, but at the end of the day, what really matters is the taste. I actually love the taste of Nespresso, I have to admit. Uh, you know, although it's a lot cheaper uh, to start out with and the capsules, you know, it's not freshly ground uh, as Jura says, but uh, it does taste great. And I think uh, but not as great as Jura. So uh, that's one thing to take into consideration as well. Um, yeah. So for the cost of the machine, uh, an espresso machine is about $150 to $350. So it's definitely a cheaper way to start out. And, uh, and in my opinion, um, I actually really do enjoy the taste of Nespresso coffee. Um, not as much as Jura. I mean, you can't beat a machine that does freshly ground coffee. Um, you know, you put whole beans in there and it does it all at once. So of course, as soon as you capsule a coffee, you lose a little bit of freshness and it just won't be the same. But, but I have to say Nespresso does make good quality coffee as well. Now this machine is, yeah, in, I'd say a medium price point for Nespresso. And this one, exact one here is the S8, you know, it's touch screen, it does all your milk based drinks. So it's not really comparable, but an E4 is an E4, Jura E4. That's one of our best sellers right now. It does only black coffee. That one is $15.95. So that's to give you more of an idea of what, what, a, what a regular cost is for a Jura machine that does the same capability as an espresso, just black coffee. So the average lifespan, as I already said, for this machine is four to seven. Uh, in my experience, it's more like three to five. So let's say five years, this machine lasts five years. Uh, with all the numbers my, that my colleague made, it's about $50 you're paying a year in that five years, right? Whereas the Jura, uh, let's say it lasts 10 years. As I said, if you treat it well, you, you can keep it for 17 years. So let's say 10 years. Uh, if you have it for 10 years, you're gonna be paying about $160 a year. You know, that includes the coffee beans. So yes, it is quite a bit more, but $160 a year as opposed to $50 a year. But keep in mind, you are getting freshly ground coffee, not capsule. Uh, you have programming capabilities, and you're just buying a, you know, a, a very well-respected brand. Um, but once again, I'm not knocking Nespresso. I do love Nespresso myself. I have a lot of friends that use it. I do like their coffee. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. Um, just let us know if you have any more questions. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be happy to answer any questions. Let us know. Thank you. Bye. -bye.